<laughs> well, Illinois won the flip and deferred. So here is their strong legged young man from Coral Springs, Florida, Brett Schupine, to kick it off to the most dangerous offense in the land, averaging almost 50 points an outing. One W away from Pasadena, and here we come. And Fletcher on the one. Fletcher to the 22-yard line where Kerry Collins will bring the offense out and if he continues with this efficiency rating he would become the highest in NCAA history breaking the record Jim McMahon established back at Brigham Young there's his backs and receivers danger danger and more danger there with that group the offensive line is a veteran one but one change today Wayne Holmes steps in for the injured Marco Rivera. He will start at that left guard spot. Kajana Carter gets a play fake. Kerry Collins on first down, deflected. Out of bounds is Whitman incomplete against the number one defensive unit in the Big Ten and one of the best in the land, Dana Howard, playing his last game here in Champaign. Now in that defensive backfield, there are some nicks and bruises and the freshman, Trevor Starchill. Hate him, so they want to go after him. Yes, they started out with a play action pass, but they do want to establish the run. And here it is, Carter to the 25 yard line. A little over three yards. They'll have to adjust that 25 place script. Dick, it would be huge if it's three and out. This is third and seven. I say huge for the Illini. Penn State fans want to keep it going. Here's Carter, he does not. He has stopped at the line of scrimmage by a hard-hitting defense. The ball could be down on the ground. Illinois recovered. Fumble, and the Illini have got it inside the 25. And now moving up with his first series is Johnny Johnson, the junior from North Chicago. Greg Landry sets the offense, and Ty Dother, the lone running back, plows inside the 20-yard line. If the Illini are to have a chance, Johnson must have a very consistent game. Now that is a superb pass efficiency rating. If he keeps it up, he could break the mark for that standard here at Illinois. Rodney Bird, number 44, moves in because of the injuries sustained by the fullbacks in this attack when they go to the two-back. The offensive line is also beaten up. Several of these fellas out there, they hope to go the distance. We'll have to see how it unfolds. After a five-yard gain by Dothard, it is second and five for the Illini. Dothard again, daylight, Dothard, Dothard to the five, and it's first and goal, Illini. The lone setback, a wingback in this formation, an extra tight end, Dilger, a superb receiver, is their main man there. Dothard again steps his way to the three-yard line. But the tackles in those people have been banged up, Brent. Brian Gelsheiser heads up the front seven for Penn State. Cliff Dingle moves in as their hero, which is how they refer to the strong safety. And down here, down there 20 times, 18 scores, 17 of them touchdowns. Good coaching, good execution. Short to the one-yard line. <laughs> the third touchdown, Illinois. After the turnover, they score first. That's the first touchdown Penn State's defense has given up in the first quarter. And the two touchdown underdog here in Champaign strikes first. Into this wind. Still sends it inside. And Fletcher's bringing it out. Short of the 20-yard line. All year he said, I can't wait to come back and play the Nittany Lions. He's had his chance, recovered one fumble. Carter being stretched, and Hardy runs him out of bounds on the far side. And this is just a phase of their defense. They're going to emphasize it now all the time. Kerry Collins, stand up incomplete. And it'll be third and long with two of the most dangerous wide receivers in the land. And Mike Archie joins. He can slip out of the backfield underneath coverage. Collins snaps one, almost intercepted by Tyrone Washington, who had a good look at it. There. 
Fair catch signal for by Jones at the 44-yard line. They must take care of business. And right now, it's the Fighting Illini who lead them by a touchdown and have the ball back 56 yards away. Johnson and Dother. They're sticking right on the ground. It's been there. Second down. Need a couple of yards for the first down here. Dothard's got it. Crosses the 45-yard line. Now, what's interesting about this scenario right now, first and 10, the ball is at the Nittany line, 44-yard line. Again. Across the 40-yard line before Gelsheiser makes the stop. But Dothard is running with a little more verve than he has shown. Now it is second down here. He's already gone for 41 yards on eight carries. Dead ball, false start, offense, second down. Jerry Hendrickson, our referee, this strong Dulick, Dilger, the receivers. Johnson under the blitz gets it off, incomplete. They'll use the shotgun. The slot is to Johnson's left. The blitz from Yeboah Cody and Yeboah Cody putting pressure on. They have two guys blocking one. Force the bad throw. Larson booms one into the end zone. It's just. But here today in Champaign, they're scored on first with Illinois leading. Now let's see if the Nittany Lions and Kerry Collins can come alive. Kajana Carter goes in motion to the far side. Collins rolls away from him. Intercepted by Washington at the 34. Almost the same pass that he just about picked off a short time ago. Illinois with a first down inside the 25. Now, another golden opportunity for Illinois in the first quarter. But they must take advantage of their opportunities in this football game. Dothard again running splendidly today. This is as hard as he has run all year. Watch out for Mr. Dilger. Second down and four. The Illini line up in double tight. There's Dothard again pounding to the 11-yard line. This is some running performance. Well, it's first and ten at the 11-yard line. Dothard, big holes behind the center. Dothard to the one-yard line. 63-3. to three. Well, the one thing Landry is doing, they're just keeping the ball in Douthard's hands. Up over the top. I don't think he got it. Brian McCabe, number 43, into the backfield with Douthard. Johnson on a roll now. He's got a receiver wide open. Touchdown, Illinois, Ken Dilger. Builds a 14-0 lead on the Nittany Lions of Penn State, who have to be shocked at 6.20 to go. It's 14-0. Now, with that win, the shoe line just drills it out of the end zone. They have got to concentrate on getting the ball into their hands. And Collins will try right now. Downfield, Scott. Incomplete as he overthrew him that time. Right now, they have Rod Boykin, number 22, playing in that corner position. And remember, Hardy has been tying up Kyle Brady. Let's him come out this time. And they run the ball with Carter. And Carter to the 27-yard line and Chad Kofer. Third down and three for the Lions. Scott's your motion receiver. Carter. And Carter is short of it. And that was Paul Marshall. This defense is standing tall. Forced the Lions to punt again. Jones is back. Not a very good one. Fair catch, and he's got it near midfield around the 49-yard line. And... Here he comes, Dothard, and this time the Nittany Lions are ready. But instead, they come right back with Dothard, and that time he is stopped by Yeboah Cody. Penn State in a three-man line, so they can rush three, then cover with eight. Tough to throw efficiently against that. 
underneath. He's got him. And he threw behind him. He had Jason Dulek. Be patient and take what they give me. He de demonstrated it then. Larson punting to Archie in with the win. There'll be no return here. It gets a bounce. Turner was down there, and the Illini Whoa. fall on it inside the five-yard line. That balances up the front a little bit, Brent. Whitman, the fullback, and it's Whitman to the five-yard line. Milne is back in the game. Collins from his own end zone fires for Scott incomplete. Now you have to adjust to see what they're doing right now. Collins again from his own end zone firing and Scott on the juggle has got it but is out of bounds and that is short of the mark. But he could certainly win the field position battle because of the win. Drew a vicious and there's the fair catch call and it was close to the 40 yard line. So again the Illini are Steelers. Perhaps their game of the year, Monday night, 9 Eastern. First and 10 now for the Illini. Up a couple of scores. Off a play fake, Johnson rolls back to the right. Got all day. And he threw behind the receiver. Second down and 10, and quickly the Nittany Lions show a different look. Just prior to the snap. And the right call was on. Dothard with a hole. Gets to the 36-yard line. That's the spot Illinois must move the ball. Dulick is the motion man, so he'll be coming out in a slot on that short side. Johnson under pressure, fires, and he's got it to his tight end. Ken Dilger inside the 10, inside the 15. Can Illinois score a third time in the first quarter? That would be outrageous against this Penn State team. On the toss, it's Douthard's short side. Douthard to the 11, and John Saunders has and they've got to do their own business the rest of the way against Arizona and UCLA. Now it's Johnson standing tall, throw high and incomplete. Jasper Strong. It's 14-0. This is third and eight. Ball inside the Nittany line, 15-yard line. Johnson will line up with the shotgun. They're still in that three-down lineman defense, playing an extra nickel back in there as a fourth linebacker. Can't find an open man. Now he does. Fisher with their third touchdown of the first quarter. Richardson. This is stunning. This is unbelievable. Shoe fly. Fletcher. Fletcher ran into another Nittany Lion player and he's down at the 25-yard line. Ty Douthard has been their main man here so far. Now Collins and the Lions will start to rally. Pump fake coming back. Scott almost intercepted. That was number 21, Scotty Turner. And that brings the first quarter to an end. It's one for the history books for Illinois and one to forget. For Penn State. First game still remain against Northwestern and Michigan State. We can't lose focus on that. He's still favored to get to the Rose Bowl. Using the fullback straight ahead, John Whitman, the junior fullback. Looking for their first first down of this football game. Collins will attempt to throw for it. Incomplete. They've got a Give it up again. Well, Indiana got a piece of two punts last week. Illinois with a 21-point lead, of course. Doesn't want to rough the punter in this situation. Jones from the 25-yard line, and he is out to the 32. Well, let's see. They put uh, four men across that front now and move a linebacker up. They show five, six in the box, and they're just coming off the blocks. That offensive line, Dick of Illinois. You know, prior to their Saturday game, but they've studied them in detail the last four ball games, all broken down. They're back to four defensive linemen again. Dulek. That is just short. I'd say with what has been going. All right, here we go. Third and one. They'll run the toss now. dothan has got the first down if he turns it upfield. 50 to the 46-yard line. He got to the corner, and Kim Herring. We have to go back into that four-man line. They're in it now. And Johnson moving to the left. He'll keep it out of bounds at the 41-yard line. That's
Damian Platt into the Illinois backfield, number 15 on this second down. And Damian to the 38-yard line. Well, they're still playing a three-down lineman. Bird is in at fullback. Douthard back gets the call, long handoff, and he gets the first down, crosses the 35-yard line. Their defense is a lot different than last year. Platt back in. He's a lone running back for the Illini. The swing to Platt. He's a good receiver. 31-yard line, and they pick up three yards. A race to be number one this year. the way to play linebacker and you boa cody see they haven't spread out now brent strong is over here on the short side five man here rush. they come on the blitz screen was Rusty. called and it's incomplete they're all over douthard and that was herring well this, this guy's is kind of an interesting call scott weaver is going to put it down they're going to try richardson 49 yards and into the breeze his career long is 52. It's a, he's going to pooch, pooch it, it. Pooch it. Drop it up over the top beautifully. Defense Excellent. runs with it. How is that for a play? Oh, oh, baby, what a pooch punt. Got to congratulate the coaches on that one. That's really well done. And not one first down. From the one, the fullback to the six-yard line. That's John Whitman. This is Carter, swings wide to the right, beats Hardy, first down, out to the 21, and that's their best play so far. They into the game, lines up at tailback, superb receiver, off of fake Collins, and he's got his tight end, Brady. Brady running free, and Brady to the 41, and now here come the Nittany Lions. Carter back into the backfield, number 32, lined up at tailback behind Mill. Here comes Carter, right side. Now that they have discovered where Hardy is going to line up, they have switched Hardy now over to the right side of the defense, lined up against Kyle Brady. Collins off a of fake, throws underneath, and it's Brady again. Brady for the first down with a second effort. Ingram or Scott. He'll pull back. And he'll toss it to the tight end as long as it's working. It's Brady to the 16-yard line, and Dana Howard in at first and 10 to Cremille. And they've been down here a number of times this year. they got a lot of experience down here. Carter on the delay. Carter to the 10-yard line, and this will lead them with second and three. The offensive line. Here is second down for the Lions from the 10-yard line, and it's the fullback, Mill. Min plows straight ahead to the 6-yard line and close. Illinois buried him on their last punt down inside the 5-yard line. This has been some impressive drive right now. And here comes Carter, right side, slashes to the 2-yard line. Both fullbacks, Whitman and Mill. Along with Carter. Milne lines up at a left wing. Now they bring him in motion. They may run to that side. Here they come, right side. Nothing doing. It'll be third and goal. Third and goal from the Illini one. Now Carter goes to the wing and moves in motion. Milne still battling. Touchdown is the signal from the one linesman. He's got it. Boy, it didn't look he like he had his hands it. up, and there it is. He repeats it, and it was a fullback. Georgia was an excellent high school soccer player, strong leg, rips this one through, and the Nittany Lions are back. It took a while. It took a quarter, but that's a 99-yard drive for the Lions, and now they only trail it by 14. That was a wake-up call right there. Give a return on this one. Jones from the nine yard line. Little return. Now he's going to swing it out to the right, but he is cut off and short of the 20 yard line. Douthard, who has run extremely well, is the tailback for the Illini. Off a of fake, Johnson rolls off to the right, fires incomplete. The ball was dropped by Dilger, the tight end. There's Douthard on the delay. Douthard continues to be an impressive runner here today. He has carried 20 times. This could be number 21. Well, it won't be because Damian Platt checks in a tail on this third and two behind the fullback, and they'll use Platt. 
Platt tried to get it, and he was hit by Gelsheiser at the point of attack. What a great tackle. Last week, he's very dangerous to returning punts. They go after it. Lousy punt. They've got a piece of it. They've crushed Larson, and the ball is downed at the 38. Plenty of time. Trailing 21 to 7. They scored the last time, a 99-yard drive. In the round, fake to Ingram, and Collins going to go deep. It's Scott. Touchdown, Penn State. What a beautifully conceived play. They faked the reverse. Real nice job faking the reverse. Fake the fullback. Poise, slow ball. Fake the reverse. Look to the right. Fire it down the seam. Safety. Antoine Patton was out of position. There it goes. Touchdown. Play with the extra point, and then I'm going to add the exclamation to what you just said, Coach. It is now 21-14. That is Penn State's 17th scoring drive in under one minute this year as Joe Paterno's troops go 38 yards in one play. This is the first time he has entered. They weren't pleased with Jones's return or his judgment on that last one. This one, there will be no decision. Now they offset Douthert. They use a double tight, and they're going to throw it on first down. Douthert's excellent receiver, and he's got eight yards out of the backfield. But the defense trying to get the ball back here at the three-minute mark of the first half. Douthert cracks free for the first down. Out to the 39-yard line. Now it's first and ten. Two and a half minutes left here in the first half. Illinois up by a touchdown. Johnson going to throw back on the screen over here to the tight end, and he's out to the 44-yard line. Ken Dilger. Dilger is on the right wing. Pressure open. Got Dilger. Dilger inside the 30-yard line. See, got a tight end like Dilger. Now it's first and ten. Ball is inside the 30-yard line. Johnson again. Middle. Ilger went diving at the five-yard line. Oh, baby, what a catch. Boy, that was a great catch by Dilger. He's one of the better pass-receiving tight ends in the Midwest this year. Johnson now. Out there to run into the end zone. The Illini get one back. You know something, Brent? All three of the offensive linemen that are playing hurt for Illinois, they don't feel any pain right now. Now, Richardson adds it. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. The scoreboard right now says 28 points. There's a man who said, give us 28 and we'll win this football game. Never in his wildest dreams did he expect to have 28 in the first half. That's just part of it. But, but Penn State, on the other hand, is number one in the country in graduation rate you at 92%. Bet. Scooped up now, and that's Fletcher. And Fletcher's out to the 30. We've been talking about points. He's got three tackles, needs 12 to break the Big Ten record. They bring it to Carter on the end around. He's following the quarterback, and now Kajana on a cutback. Mill was going to throw the block, and Carter swings free now, and then stepped out of bounds at the 44-yard line. I think the Big Ten will pay it back. To Penn State but when it comes to football this is great to have their addition to this conference Archie steps in motion now and here comes Collins out of there pressure Simeon Rice battling Collins with time he's got Archie incomplete had him all alone at the 25 yard line Illinois against a team many believe to be the best of the land leads 28 to 14 Kerry Collins throws it to Milne the fullback the safety valve receiver is out of bounds third down and eight yards with 14 seconds to go and here's Ingram they run that center screen and the Illini read it they were all over it they're gonna go for the big deep one they had one of these go against them last week incomplete one second left now one tick of the clock left Johnson with a strong arm will go shotgun this could be the Hail Mary here with the three wide receivers over on the right. Johnson, and down he goes, will end the first half. Never had a chance to get it off. Paterno and the Nittany Lions will attempt to regroup. Illinois leads 28-14. The Prudential Halftime Report is coming up next here on ABC. Nice to have you with us this afternoon. We hope you enjoy the second half from Champaign, Illinois.
This is ripped over Platt's head, out of the end zone. Johnson and the Illini will doubt third with over 100 yards. Dilger is over on the right side of the formation. They go to double tight. They fake to Douther. Johnson can't find an open man. Johnson now goes it deep. Dulick out of bounds and incomplete. Four-man rush by the Nittany Lions. They storm all over Douther. Would love to have a three and out or a turnover right here and strike first. Defensive game plan adjustment. They're not in the nickel defense. They got four down linemen this time. And they press with linebackers. Here comes the blitz. They incomplete. Dulick, the hot man, dropped it. Should have had it, but he would not. Of coverage, but more pressure. Now set to return is Archie. Fair catch at the 40-yard line. Simeon Rice and his buddies are ready to go back to work. Here come the Nittany Lions. They can strike in a hurry. Collins got one on one. Gets it to Ingram. Down to the 37-yard line with Tyrone Washington hanging on. Rice lined up away from the tight end as he had been all day, but he has not been getting to Collins. First and 10, leads the nation with 16 sacks. Archie gets the call initially to the 33-yard line. And the fake to Carter. Collins fires short of the first down. It's the fullback, Mill. Third down and one for the Lions. seven-yard line and the Lions with an opportunity to cut the lead again not this time with Archie to the four the toss is Carter Carter touchdown Penn State boy they just annihilated the corner of that defense that time Kyle Brady over there at six foot six. And it's a seven point <laughs> Illinois lead. <laughs> and now the pressure slowly is switching over to Illinois. 11 and a half minutes left now with the wind favoring Penn State. They have pulled back to within seven. Platt will down this one and it fall at the 20. Dilger is over on the right side. The toss, Douther, Douther to the 25-yard line. Again, two tight ends, Cushing and Dilger. Battling toward a first down, and he appears to be just a little shy. Here's third and short. Bird is in as his blocking fullback set in front of Douther. Tight run looking formation. They're gonna throw from it short to strong first down Illinois. That's all they wanted. Again double tight. Two wide receivers and Douther the lone running back behind Johnson. They're bringing the outside backer. Douther right gets through the hole. Douther in a foot race. They left it open and they fail. Pittman and Dingle were in pursuit. First and 10 for Illinois. The ball out at their own 48-yard line. Going to throw it on first down. And now Johnson will take off. They left that side of the field open, and he slides into the 43-yard line with Willie Smith closing in. Second down. Down third. Tiptoes. Battles his way for a first down. Well, that's first and ten. The ball is inside the Penn State 40-yard line. Dilger is your motion tight end working with Cushing. And now it is Douthert again to the 34-yard line. I can't believe that Gelheiser. Oh. Here's the toss. Douthert, can he turn it up? He does. Douthert battles his way to the 24 and another Illinois first down. Uh, they move down inside the 25. Another impressive drive working against the wind. Here's the main man, cut back, down third, close to the 20. Now they put four down and show a linebacker, and Johnson will throw complete to the 10-yard line. Brian Miller.
First and ten for Johnson and the Illini close to the ten. Douthert on a little delay. Douthert swings to the nine. Landry has always liked that play down here. He's lined up on the right, but they'll run the toss. Douthert stopped at the nine-yard line. It's going to be third down. And they're going to line Johnson up at a shotgun, give him three wide receivers, and now basically a fourth with Platt. Johnson fires incomplete. He was under pressure, and he basically threw that pass away. 50 field goals in his career, which is number two. Just a couple behind Chris White, who holds the record. 27-yarder now against the Breeze from the right hash mark. Good. And what was Chris Richardson doing before the team came out following halftime? He was practicing at that end of the field. We'll be right back. Short man picks it up at the 20-yard line. The fullback, Milne, twists free to the 40. <laughs> Collins to throw on first down. Archie's running free. Archie to the 10-yard line with Scott Turner saving the touchdown. Here's another look. Bang, completed pass. 47 yards and Penn State with a first down at the Illinois 13. Collins deflected incomplete. It was Chad Cooper. Looks like blitz. They're both locked up. It appears one on one unless they're disguising they it. Disguised it. Collins rolling left, throws underneath. A well conceived defense. Milne still battling. Dana Howard finally comes over and helps with Kevin Hardy. They have a good field goal kicker, but don't do something foolish with that football. Going to try to get the six. Throw on the hit, it's incomplete. Big. Wind is at his back. Missed it. Wide right. From the 20 yard line. Johnson and the Illini. Complete to Jasper Strong. Strong breaks free. Strong to the 41-yard line. A 21-yard gain. The Illini lead by 10. 2:55. Third quarter. Douthert. Penalty flag and one of the few that we have seen here today. Against the Nittany Lions. First down at five now after the penalty. Douthert stuffed. Johnson. There's a, they were spying on him. And he won't get free from Yaboa Cody, who was just waiting for him. And, and oh, how Tepper would love this first down and not give the Nittany Lions the ball back even briefly in the third quarter. Short of the first down. Dulick was the receiver. Lions partially blocked one. They were coming again. Larson gets it off now. Archie. Very dangerous down there. So he did feel that one. First and ten now. Coming out from the 20-yard line. Kerry Collins and the Lions. They're doubling weak side. It's Carter. Carter slashes. Close to a first down. As the quarter comes to an end. We've got a timeout on the field. It's 31-21. We'll return with more from Penn State and Illinois after this message and a word from our ABC station. Mill not a quick hitter for the first down. Some of the things to keep in mind. They're going to have to throw the ball to the top of the field on those rundowns. They've got it. See, they did it then, though, Brent. They had him doubled, and it was singled up there on Scott. Detroit Lions. Now on a little bit of a delay, Archie 
to the 44-yard line and a first down. And he's over here tightening up on him again. They have come to hit Ingram off the line. They let him come, though. He's going to go free. Ingram's got it this time. And the 42-yard line for another first down. And Scott to assist. Short side again. It's Ingram. And Washington's going to blitz. Carter is stopped at the 42-yard line by Dana Howard. Keith Olsummer into the game, and Brady is out right now, Dick. Fumble by Collins, here comes Simeon. And he still fired it to Milne at the 40-yard line. Brady is still out of the game. Now Carter gives him an extra receiver on the left side. They throw incomplete. Take a chance and fake one. Jura Vicious instead will punt it. And Illinois takes over at the 20 with the wind at their back. And that's the Nike ad. And of course, that helps fund all the other sports at Penn State, doesn't it? First and 10 now. Here is the toss. Douthard. Douthard slashes to the 25. First down, Illinois. What a day he's having. Rodney Bird is now the lone running back in what looks like a passing set here for Illinois. They fire incomplete to Dulick right between his legs. When you go to Starkville, you go to Champaign, better get ready. Johnson, he'll run out of this to the 34-yard line with Mazik bringing him down. Strong, Dulick, and Klein are the wide receivers. Receivers are covered. Johnson goes down at the 23-yard line, and Illinois must punt. And here's the punt. Archie fields it at the 38-yard line, and Archie is to the 46-yard line, 10-24 to go. It looks like they might blitz the weak side corner. If they don't, they just drop off. Collins. There's where you want to go with the football. And it's Scott at the 40-yard line. And here it's 10. Illinois up by 10. And this is Carter, and he is down at the 38-yard line. That was Kofer. Now they switch Ingram and Scott, and Washington switches the defense, too. And now Collins going to try to get Ingram. Ingram's out of bounds. Incomplete. Archie will undoubtedly go in motion over to the short side. They send a linebacker over on number two. Collins wants him on that side. Fires it. It's short of the first down. Why would, not, why would you not have Kajana Carter in there? Maybe because you want throw Archie the ball. as a receiver. They've used him on two plays in a row. They've got him as a safety valve. Collins can't get him. First down, and still some. Down to the 15-yard line that time, and Mr. Ingram. Now they slot Scott. He can run the slant. Instead, they toss, and they bring Carter back in the game. Slips a tackle beautifully to the 10-yard line. Boy, has he got those strong, strong lower legs. Second down. The ball at the Illinois 10-yard line. Same slot formation, previous play, run again. And Carter is short of the five-yard line. They cannot afford a fumble down here. Archie is in. Milne is the blocking back. Milne straight ahead. Milne, touchdown, Nittany Lions. Touchdown, Penn State. Ball carrier number 22, Brian Milne. It's a three-point game. And a lot of time left. situation this half Penn State dominating now the Illini huge series for them first down coming out from the 28 they stick it on the ground with Douthard to the 30 yard line needing eight yards you would think that Landry would have called a passing play Johnson to Douthard Douthard nowhere Lost the yard with Brian Miller. and They're back into that three-down lineman defense, Brent. Probably going to play zone behind it. 
They rush three, cover with eight. Deep drop. Incomplete. He overthrew Ken Dilger. And he went right off the field toward the wide man. And now Larson punts it for the Illini. And Archie lets it go over his head. This is a huge punt for the Illini. Can they get it before it reaches the end zone? They will. Inside the five-yard line. They'll balance it up with a couple of tight ends and two running backs and try to get themselves out of a tough spot. Here's Carter, ball in the right hand. He stood up at the four-yard line with Chad Cooper. Ingram is off to Collins right. Scott to his left. Fake, he's going to throw from his own end zone. Plenty of time underneath to the fullback, Milne. And he's to the 11-yard line with Washington tackling him. We're inside of five minutes, and here we go. They're going to go against the three-man line. Got it. It's Brady. First down, Penn State. His what? first catch. And the ball is out at the 18-yard line. Brady's on the right side. Collins on first down. Puts it in Ingram's hands. Tries to twist free. First down, Penn State. as there is in the land is gets as good a defense huh on first down Collins Carter at the 49 yard line and Marshall is back in as the nose man for Illinois Carter swinging left Carter looking for an angle he got the first down though the Nittany Lions working against the clock 342 trailing it by three Milton to the 41 yard line. Now Collins. Brady short of the first down to the 35 yard line with Washington hanging on. It's Collins left side. Hardy the battle for the first down and the Illinois defense may have held up with Kevin Hardy. That switch made by Illinois to put Hardy over on him and they get it. Archie is in a tailback. Milne's the fullback. Collins is going to throw it. Over the middle and it's complete inside the 20 yard line. Good protection. So Scott makes a huge catch for him. Alabama goes ahead. And now the favorites are starting to come back as Carter has returned to the lineup for Collins and the Lions. It looks like blitz, Brent. They backed out, they bluffed it. Collins with time complete to the 10-yard line. They Eight yards on the second down pass. Ingram to the left, Scott to the right. Milne, first down. Milne battling. Milne to the three-yard line. It's first and goal. Brady goes to the left side of the formation. Carter is back. He's on that wing over there. Milne, the fullback, gets the call. Touchdown. Penn State takes the lead. This man is one of the great stories in college football. Milne is a young man who has battled Hodgkin's disease. He has come back. He has conquered it. Conway. Now, we have seen Illinois in the same situation come back and win a football game, Brent. You and I couldn't believe it when they did it to Michigan a year ago. There's the low line drive. And kicked on into the end zone now by Platt. And he downs it there, the official helping him out. <laughs> Dilger's the tight end. They'll use the shotgun. Douthert, an excellent receiver, is in the running back spot. They set a screen on first down with Douthert. Douthert's got a seam. Douthert out to the 41-yard line. Two timeouts remaining. The first down stops the clock. Yes, yes. And those kind of screens against the three-man rush. And eight. now they're bringing four men in the rush. Get a little more pressure. Help that. Receivers were all covered, so he threw it out of bounds. Three down linemen. Johnson pumps. 
fires a diving incomplete. It was Jasper Strong at the 40 and on the road, a Rose Bowl at stake. Now it's third and 10 against Illinois. And the linemen move. It is suddenly third and 15. Dead ball. A false start. Offense. Oh, we could have both Bama and Penn State pulling it out here in the fourth quarter, third and 15. And it's Johnson. Fires incomplete. Jasper Strong had the first down if they'd completed the pass. Need to reach the 48-yard line. Johnson. Johnson fires for it. Strong. Got it. Beautiful throw. They get it on fourth and 15 with 15 seconds to go. Now on first down from the shotgun. Johnny Johnson, they change the look at the snap. They give Johnson a different look, and he'll take off from it. He's got to worry about the clock. Incomplete. He overthrew Klein. And then all kinds of white jerseys move. Indiana hit one last week. <laughs> Seven seconds now. Johnson. Strong stops the clock at two seconds with a first down. But you've got to watch Dilger, the tight end, from the right side of this formation. They show three wides over here to the short side. And Johnson. Johnson goes deep to the end zone. Intercepted, and it's over. Penn State rallies to win it. They're going to the Rose Bowl. The Nittany Lions have made it to Pasadena in their second year in the Big Ten. A great comeback against Lou Tepper. And Illinois trailing 21 to nothing. Penn State wins it. It was a great football game in Champaign. The thrifty post-game report is coming up. So